do um, so a little quick little light burn tutorial over here so let me um, first show you around light burn real quick so you've got your toolbar on the left your files and uh, things like that toolbar on the top as long as some arrangement things I've added to mine I take off the simple arrange and added the arrange long because I like to have a little bit more control that I have to go into sub menus and whatnot um, I'm going to be going into uh, this <clears throat> art library and what I'm going to be doing is I want to take my son's logo for his band and I want to uh, make some quick little acrylic uh, keychains out of it. So we're going to do that real fast. So um, let's change some settings here. Okay. Um, now what I need to do on this is, well, first I need to resize it because it's way too big at four inches. I think a keychain, let's say 1.5 inches wide, that should be a good size. Now I need a circle on top of this so that I can, you know, create a spot to put a keychain through. So I'm going to create a perfect circle. I'm going to grab, whoop, I always, always do that. One of my biggest annoyances of Lightroom is there's no difference between this icon and this icon. So I, even though I just did a circle, I forget that it does a default back to this circle. Silly, I know. All right, so we're going to line these up like so okay change that to the same layer and we're going to weld these together now in the newest version of lightburn the 1.0 and above when you want to do boolean type operations you can hit on the keyboard control b that brings up this Boolean assistant that I absolutely adore because you can click on it and it doesn't do anything, but it does show you what it's going to do, which is very nice. We want that one, but we don't want it to be on this pink layer. So what I need to do is ungroup these so that I only select the outline. This is still grouped. So that I only select the outline and that circle. I do my control B shortcut. And that's the one I want. And I hit OK. Pretty simple. Um, now we need a cutout for the ring to pass through. So we're going to bring that over here. And we're again going to line these up like so. And that is going to be way too thin of a wall. So let's bring that down. That's only, that might be too small. Let's, I'm just undoing real quick because I think I want this initial circle to be bigger. Ah, let me put this in millimeters. I, uh, so when I'm working at these smaller increments, anything below an inch, I prefer to be in millimeter. It just makes more sense. Um, I can quickly look at the little, uh, here, I'll show you. This. This came with the laser. It's just a, you know, metric uh, ruler. But I can quickly look, look at that and go, okay, well, if I make that seven, eight millimeters wide, plus I know seven millimeters isn't much less than a centimeter, that's, you know, that's probably, that's only that much, a little less than that. I think we might just go one centimeter, which is a, a 10 mil wide circle. Then if what we do is we then join these together, of course, we want to make sure we're centered. Aha, we were not. All right, join these together. Now, that time I just went over here and clicked on the Boolean because I knew which one to do. Um, let me undo that. I want to do something else real quick. I want to create another circle 
this time I want to center it in here. Now, if you have in your options or your device settings or settings, let's see, where is it? Nope, not device settings, it's in settings. Uh, snap to objects turned on. When I grab this middle dot, uh, movement dot, okay, when I bring it over here, you'll see my icon change and it snaps right in. Now I can move slightly around and it doesn't move because it's snapped to the center, which is what I want. So I'm going to select that one, select this one, merge them, okay? That's that. That's ready to go. Um, so yeah, that's how Boolean works uh, for the simple Boolean of joining. Um, let me see what else can I show you. Let's do a couple of shapes here and let's take a look at the other two so you can see what or the other couple of options. Um, so that's the one we just did. Intersection is going to take everything inside of where those two meet. The difference A to B is going to take the top one. Difference B to A is going to take the bottom one. Now this one you'll notice, okay, this frustrates me and I don't know why it's not here, but B to A is not here. It's not a, a pop out, it's just not there and I don't quite understand why they did not include it. And then, you know, over here they have this one too, which is for multiple objects. You can, you can select, you know, 20 things and and weld them all together but it only does the weld it only does this one it doesn't do any of the others anyhow um that is boolean operations in light burn and how to make a quick keychain so i'm going to run off i'm going to go burn this and test it out see how it goes um oh let's uh quickly since we're here uh before i let y'all go how about we change some settings? So if we look in our library, we're going to be doing acrylic. So for our engrave, we could set it like that. And for our cut, it's three mil acrylic, acrylic. And we're going to set it there, 25 millimeters a second, 60% power. Sounds like a lot, but that's how you get nice, smooth, um, edges on acrylic you also do not want the air assist on for smoother cuts uh, and you can even slow this down a bit more I'm gonna go 20 uh, just because I want these to look nice um, I do want to make a bunch of these now my acrylic sheets let me show you yeah uh, this is cast acrylic so it'll will engrave well um, this is an orange sheet. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's an orange sheet. It's covered in uh, masking, uh, but they're, what, a foot by a foot, something like that. Let me grab my tape measure. <coughs> so, yeah, foot by foot, 12 inches, 12 inches. Oh. Yep, 12 by 12, exactly. Um, so, what I can do with that information is I can now make a box change it to my tool layer change this back to inches and I can make a 12 I have to turn this off so that I can make them exactly 12 by 12 the other way I could have done that when you create a box or a circle or anything hold down shift and it makes it a perfect version of that perfect square perfect circle not a rectangle not an oval okay uh, and then you wouldn't have to turn this off I could just go 12 on one and it'll set the other automatically all right um, so get rid of one of those I'm gonna grab this one okay and what we want to do now now that button right there says bring me into whatever I have selected so if I'm working on this boom I can go in now, if I want to see everything, I select it. Don't know why I did that. Sorry, hit the wrong button, <laughs> um, and that'll that'll zoom me back out. So, let's move this over and up, something like that. Oh shoot! Look at that. A 
Okay, let's try this again. This time, let's group that all together so we don't do that again. All right, now the Lightburn has this tool right here. Now this tool is an array tool. Um, so this is going to allow me to tell it how many columns I want, how many rows I want. So columns are gonna go across this way. Now you see those look a little weird? I'll explain that in a second. It's a new feature of Lightburn 1.0 that they came out with. Uh, makes your files a lot smaller. Um, not to send to the laser, but smaller, smaller uh, when you save them to your hard drive. Uh, so your backups and things are going to be smaller. Um, and any changes, let's say I need to make a change to this, I don't like how that hole is coming out. Um, I can only uh, make changes to one and it'll affect the entire array, which is really nice, really nice feature. All right, that looks pretty good. We say okay. So these ones are not selectable. So how do we send that to the laser? Well, you just select the one, and it selects everything else, and this is what actually gets sent to the, the laser to do the actual job. So you can see it, it still does everything exactly as we would expect. But much simpler. So, I'll give you an example. Let's say, let me ungroup this. Ungroup, ungroup, ungroup. See these here? Let's say I wanted to fix those so they were a little more uh, straight. I could grab this one. I could uh, hit L and L, and then delete, oh, not that one, delete this one down here by hitting D. Oh, oh I see. There's not one here. So I'm going to hit I over here, and I'm going to make that a line. I'm going to delete this one now. Boom. And this one. Don't need it. Okay. Now I can stretch this out. So this is going to look a lot better. So, I, D, just hover over it, hit D, or select it and hit D. Make that a line, make that a line, make that a line. Make that one go away. Make that one go away and make that a line. And make that one a line. Okay, now I can line these up. Oop, see that? I want that one to be a line. Boom, just like that. Now we zoom out, zoom in on this one, you'll see a change has been made to every single copy in that array. Great. Saves you a ton of time having to copy and paste a whole bunch of things, you know. It just is a lifesaver. <clears throat> Lightburn is becoming more and more a real option when it comes to just fully editing. Uh, vector art. Uh, you can do quite a bit with it. Um, I mean, it's not an art program. You're not going to color in it like Adobe Illustrator, but as far as vector work, black and white vector work, that's perfect. Only a few things I would add. At any rate, uh, I'm going to go off and I'm going to try these out. I'll probably burn one just to start, um, but we'll see.
At any rate, you guys have a great one. I'll see you next time. Peace.